All right, Guam, welcome back to KU News Extra. I'm still Jason Salas, and we are being joined now by two friends of mine, Dr. Fred Schumann and Eileen Agahan. They are with the One Village, One Product. It's a strategy to increase economic opportunities for Guam's residents. Half a day to you both. This is a fascinating concept. Half a day. Yeah. Half a day, Jason. Yeah, so Thanks ladies sir. first, if you don't mind. Sure. <laughs> so Eileen, you know, we have talked over the, ver over the years about, you know, developing some sort of signature product at Guam's macro level, you know, should Guam ever have its own export good, you know, like that. Is this kind of like a more village-centric version of that concept, kind of like giving each, each village its own identity? You're exactly right, actually. And we are trying to promote self-employment um, at the village level. So here, it's, it's a great economic strategy for Guam. It's a way to maximize revenue within our local economy as residents can benefit directly from the tourism industry by selling these specialty products to tourists. Hmm. Now, what kind of products are we looking at, Fred? Well, uh, the, the One Village, One Product products don't even have to be products. They can be events. We just, we'd just we like to have something representing each of the villages um, and so, so that our residents and visitors can, can go to the villages and know what to look for when they, when they visit these vi villages. That's interesting because, you know, like uh, it's become a real, real popular event. Like, as you said, like in the past few years, you know, every village kind of has its own Fiesta, especially the ones down in the south, are fiestas, of course, but then you've got the uh, uh, the Doni Festival, which is coming up right. from Ingila. You know, mm -hmm. Agate's got the Mango Festival. Uh, there's a Banana Festival, a Crab Festival down south and everything like that. So is it, does this build on that concept? Yes, and, and let me ask you, Jason, how many villages do we have on Guam officially? <laughs> What's the official count? I believe it was 31, if I remember. 31. <laughs> okay, well, I believe uh, we... Or I may uh, be the, wrong. The official count is 19, but according to Joseph Cameron, it's 20 because we have the... Um, Tomorrow Village. Well, maybe I was thinking 20. of maybe I was thinking of uh, voting districts, but yeah. Right, right. So yeah, we had uh, officially we had 19 villages, and uh, we do have some products identified for the villages, like the established products like ma uh, mango for agate, uh, doni uh, pepper for Magilao, but we still have a number of other other villages that that don't really have a product or, or an event uh, mm -hmm. associated with with the village. Yeah, I'm really loving the concept, Eileen, because you know you give every village, you know, you get a sense of civic pride. Tell everybody. Let's pool our resources. We all grew up here, you know, we live here. Um, you know, it, it's not clicky and it's not, you know, combative towards the other village, but hey, you know, uh, Agate has mangoes, that's really, really cool. Mm -hmm. um, Umatic has the Crab Festival, uh, and that's, or is it Marito that has mm -hmm. the Crab Festival? The crab festival yeah, yes. that's, that's real unique to them and everything like that. As Dedido, what can we have? Or, you know, like how do we promote that as Tumon? Right, so that's really the model we're hoping each village would follow, that every village has its own culture, history, agriculture, and natural beauty. So it's not just about the products and services, but the experience. Mm -hmm. So how do we get started? Priority. Yeah. Well, first of all, Jason, just if I can just give you a little bit of background. Mm -hmm. uh, when we study in, in the study of tourism, we, we don't just look at the hospitality businesses like the hotels and restaurants. Uh, et cetera, but we also take a look at communities and whether or not our residents are, are benefiting from, from tourism in the communities. And this is especially important in the small islands where we import so much of our, our goods. And so we, we have quite a deal of leakage, money going out of our community. And so one way to, to address that, the leakage issue, is to have our, our local, our villages uh, come up with um, their own businesses and have the money spent in the villages and have that money circulating in our economy. And that way we can address unemployment issues and also um, the, the, the fact that we have so many people living mm -hmm. So that's really the strategy and that's what it's all about. It, st it starts with us and we're the ones who directly benefit from it. That's right. Uh, money doesn't have to go to a corporate office off island. Money doesn't have to go to buy uh, uh, products to sell in the stores from off island. Mm -hmm. it's, mo it's, it's money that circulates within our community. Okay. Well, if, the, if these products are to be properly marketed and then, you know, capitalized upon and everything, um, how do we work with every village to make sure that we can produce an adequate volume that's to can hopefully, hopefully satisfy a, yeah. a decent enough, enough market size? Sure. That, and that's a really good question, uh, Jason. Over the past 18 months, we've had a number of workshops to help uh, people that are interested in starting up a new business. Uh, and we've also linked people up with resources. And we, we have uh, a book that's coming out real soon that's called how to produce and market your value-added products on Guam. All right. So that will be a guide guidebook that will be available to people that want to start something. I would think that would be the Bible if like, yes. new people come here, our friends in the military, you know, one kind of do something on the side. And we see a lot of that all the time. Yes. We see like military spouses, they say, you know, I want to have my own 
photography business. I do video editing. I do, you know, whatever. Right. I, I cook a certain thing. You know, I design cakes. Right. We see that all the time. It's the growth, right. growing popularity of mm -hmm. the home-based businesses. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. So soon, Jason, you'll see a map of Guam with an icon for each of the villages. Uh, we, we've conducted surveys with farmers and value-added producers. We've talked to historians, and we, we've come up with um, uh, an image, an icon, a, a product for each of our villages. And wouldn't it be great, uh, Jason, if you can go to a restaurant, for example, and, and order things from the menu and know that your salt is from Inarahan mm -hmm. and that your, you know, your, your peppers from Manilao. And by the way, you can buy some as you walk out the door. Uh, right by the register and that is, that is the very virtuous cycle of marketing because yes. you not only do you say you know this is the doni festival from Mingilao and everything but now you've actually got your own signature distinct pepper with its own flavor and its own personality if you will yes mm -hmm. okay That's right. now how can people get involved in like certainly there's a lot more information there are a lot more questions to be asked so where can people go for information eileen well they could send us an email at guamovop at gmail.com you can find us on facebook and speaking of, we do have a big unveiling event on Friday, August 21st, at the School of Business and Public Administration at 10 a.m. And here we're going to unveil the Guam OVOP math and the guidebook that we've been really been excited to launch finally. All right, well, where can people pick up the book? Because I'm going to be one of the first ones to be in line. I, you know, I'm not even going to hold back. Can you get it on Amazon, hopefully? And Eventually? Uh, yes, it will be available online eventually, but we, we do, we've do we ordered a, a couple hundred and we'll have some available on, uh, on island. So uh, we'll be announcing that on Friday when we do the uh, expo. That's right. Well, That's as right. a marketing alumni of UOG, I will be one of the first people in line because I can't wait to read that. All right. All right. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. We Good look luck. forward to seeing you. Yeah, thank right. you, Jason. Thank right. you. Please stay tuned, everybody. We are back with more show when Extra continues after this.